this because we do color eggs in our house if you can eat them after coloring. But you know, we did it as kids, and I'm still yeah, there. exactly. Well, it's a favorite Easter tradition. It dates back more than 100 <laughs> years. Forget those store-bought coloring kits. Dying Easter eggs is now an art form. That's right. Move over, Martha Stewart. We're joined this morning by Carly Cylinder from <laughs> Celebrations.com, the online site for do-it-yourself projects, and Carly has different ways to decorate. Good morning, Carly. Good morning, Thanks guys. For being here. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me. So I have a little bitty one at home, yeah. and I want to get her involved, but okay. These you are say this is probably ways. the best way. We start with something easy. Yes. Well, there's many different ways, and what's nice about all of these is that you can mix and match. So these are the chalkboard eggs. I found this Fun. on celebrations.com, and actually all of these will be online, so you can go back and look. These are really easy because all you do is put chalkboard paint, and then the kids can decorate. Can we try it? Oh, yeah, cool. of course. Okay, let me take one. What? Oh, look at. Here you go. The Wait, chalkboard so it, paint, it comes in different colors, okay. right? Yeah, it's it does. Pink. And you if go. you want and you're having a hey. party, you can write the guest <laughs> name on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why these are, <laughs> yeah, these are styrofoam, so these are right. These um, are styrofoam? They are. And actually, you could use these if you put a magnet on it. You could, you know, make something crafty for your fridge. If you're having a party, you could write your guest name. So even though this is for Easter, you can use it really for any holiday. Cool. Love this. I'm yeah, put my so initials fun. on it. Yeah. yeah you know, it. Well, you know what tends to happen on these things? We all start doing our crafts and we forget we're on TV. Okay, okay guys. Um, wait. All right. No, so come dying, on, come on. Dying, come on. Dying, dying kits are now environmentally friendly. Tell us about those well, options. Nice. Not so much the kits, but you can just make it out of what you have in your home. So you make it environmentally friendly. You make it. So Fantastic. I'm really into the whole green eco thing. And these are all things that you can use in your home. So there's turmeric, paprika. This was made with red cabbage. No kidding. So instead wow. of buying, you know, fresh produce, use whatever you have left over. If you have frozen blueberries, those work great. Really? All, yeah. All you do is you boil it for five minutes and then um, let the eggs sit overnight. Mm -hmm. They'll come out beautiful. Are these natural. the finished ones? And they won't smell these like vinegar. Ones. Well, you, uh, I forgot a to add that. A little bit of vinegar to That's make okay. it okay. A little bit's covering. okay. Yeah. And you can eat them after. So you can do this with the blown out eggs oh, yeah. or if you want hard boiled and then you know that, you know, there's no toxins going like, right. to be in it. This blue color actually came from the cabbage. Wow, really? that is wow. awesome. So That's it's really, really fun cool. and really easy. And then you can use these kind of dyed eggs in the other projects. So I have down there the um, eggshell centerpiece. Right. Cool. And you could use these. You can really mix and match. Okay, I'm going to move over because I okay. want you to tell us if you have a little artist at home, yes. how can we do crafty. something with like stencils and like these little gems? Yes, yes. Of, these are so cool. If you have like a very glamorous princess at home. Yes. You can yes. just use what um, these really fun stickers. You can do a uh, cut out. These are just paper flowers, which are really cute. That That's you can adorable. add on. Yeah, it's so yeah. cute. Okay, so I should know this, but where do you get this stuff? Any craft store. Yeah, will craft have it. store. They have stores oh, dedicated they have to crafts. Stores where you could get this whole table. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. <laughs> These are great. The stencils you can just um, color them on there. Yeah. yeah, and you could use them again with any kind of egg. This is very cool. Yeah, you know. like I it? You like that. the blame? No, but I mean, that's very that's nice. That's a glam all Easter you had, all you had to do was color it and then whammo, look at that. Yeah, exactly. It looks like you put a lot of time and effort into it. This you know? also yeah, looks like you put a lot of time and effort you into it. You know what? I made this. You in my, did? I made this in my kitchen last night. So even though I'm a florist, really anyone can do it. I picked up the floral foam from a little bodega. Mm -hmm. Kind of cut out. Uh, yeah. Just, you know, Easy. on the corner. Yeah. yeah. Made it in my uh, sink, and then all I did was just put layers of flowers and then used matching bowls. It looks That's great. Really cool. looks great. It yeah. really With does. These bowls, you, just, you can Those use whatever just, you have at home. Yeah, right? these are little kids' bowls. That's See, awesome. And then, honestly, yeah. back here, all it is is. Yeah, you can is. just. just so all you yeah. do is. You keep that wet, have, and then that keeps the. Yep, yeah. you just soak the foam Pop in Pop one in, water. John. Really? Yeah. Do so it. I, I could finish it. this by, by just going like right there. Even you can't mess that up, <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> well, this is so exciting. exciting. The cool thing is if you think you messed up, you just take it out and start That's over. That's the best yes. part about doing flowers. And when yeah. I do like cake decorating, it makes me so nerve wracked because, you know, <laughs> frosting, you can't really. You just especially eat it, colored Carly. Frosting. You're yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, you just eat it. That's right. Uh, That's right. Yeah. So so we move it from this uh, be beautiful centerpiece to using the, the fl this live was flowers. So fun. So my brother and I actually made this over the weekend and all you do is you take a little knife and kind of crack the top and then just use your hands to make an opening. Okay. And, and then, then make we, sure they can see Oh these. yeah. What? Sean, can you get this on four? Mm -hmm. So you can see the tops. So you cut all the tops out. Yeah. 
So cool. And then use what, again, whatever you have there at you home. So if you yeah. have your kids' watercolors, Sharpies, markers, yeah. use whatever you have around the house. If you have glitter, um, you can just create Ooh, little. Glitter. Yeah, you like this. Sparkles. <laughs> I love sparkles. <laughs> just decorate it. I added uh -huh. a little bit of water. So okay. um, this just acts like a vase. You can really use anything that holds water. You can use it as a vase. That's and very then cute. Oh, cute. And then you just add in these flowers. So again, you can mix and match. If, there you go. You can have multiple some. activities oh, happening. You. And then. And um, you'll have a really great party. It's really fun. These are wonderful yes, suggestions. So and you can check out more of these do-it-yourself Easter egg decorating tips on celebrations.com. Carly Cylinder, thanks so much Thank for being here. Thank you for having me. And I did a so shout fun. out. A shout out to my boo, my, oh. little, my hubby. Oh. See, isn't that cute? So cute? It can be a place card. Yes, exactly. So cute. Yeah. You could do this just for the shell of it. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. Thank you. John. Thank thanks, you. Carly. You're terrible. Hey,